the 41 year old who almost broke the world record his last time. I'm I'm more excited for an event, not so much from a team perspective, but for an event all season long than this one right here. We have not seen a world record since the very first match when Coleman Stewart broke that world record in the 100 backstroke. Could we see the second one this season from that old man right there? Nicholas Santos, everybody is standing up and ready to watch this guy take it on. He went 21.83. He's jackpotted 10 swimmers this season, and he scored as many as 24 points himself in this one event. Kawamoto, I think he has no chance, even though he's won this three times. This is all Nicholas Santos, world record 21.75. ISL record 21.78. Watch how quick he gets off the block. Yeah, a little sloppy on the entry, not quite as straight as he's been in the past. But look at the power he has going into and out of the wall, and look at the red. The jackpot's trying to light up the world record, 21.75. Santos coming, surging in, oh, 21.81. It's still going to be a huge win for Santos. And don't worry. Oh my goodness. He scores 24 points. He's going to get a chance to swim it a few more times in Eindhoven. He, I, I know he shook his head in disappointment, even though the red and the jackpot and the points. And I think Iron is comfortably now in the second. It, he's still disappointed. And it all came down to the finish. Watch, he was so long. He was perfect on his finish. I thought if he had a great finish and finished on a full stroke, the record was his. Six one hundredths away from his own world record. Well, Iron, they talked about the butterfly all day long, how critical it would be, and it has given them a 56-point advantage over Tokyo.